before Black History Month comes to an end, I want to highlight one of my heroes. And to the outside of the black community, this may seem like an unsung hero, but most of us in the black community, we know of this woman. And for those who don't, I just want to explain who she is. just want to explain who she is. So not only is she a hero, she is an innovator. She's inspiring. This story is going to be helpful and insightful to a lot of people. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Madam CJ Walker. What's good, YouTube? I go by the name of Q. If you're unfamiliar, if you are familiar, shout out to you. Welcome back to the channel. I made a post about Madam CJ Walker on my Instagram. So we're just going to bring that post from IG to over here and then we'll break it down. Madam CJ Walker was born originally Sarah Breedlove on December 23rd, 1867. Though born on a cotton plantation near Delta, Louisiana, she was born free of slavery. Some say she invented the hot comb, but that's not fact. What is fact is that she invented a line of hair care products after suffering from a scalp ailment of her own. What's also fact is that she was the first black woman millionaire in America. She transitioned due to kidney failure on May 25th, 1919 and will never be forgotten. Inspiring, right? First black woman millionaire and so many people do not know who Madam C.J. Walker is. That was the most summarized I can put it. We'll add in details without going too long, but I could talk about her for days. I could talk about her for hours. Literally, when I first learned about Madam C.J. Walker, I was in the third or fourth grade, and I never forgot about her since. I've been in plays where some of the girls in my class imitated her. I played George Washington Carver. We used to do Black History Month plays when I was younger. So I know about all of these people and I study all of these people just in my regular everyday life because that's what I care about. I care about my history. I'm very, very black through and through. I'm a proud black man from my nappy hair to my melanated skin. I have to get these messages out there to let people know that this is what we came from. This is what we're capable of, and this is what we can do if we just pay attention to the patterns. If we pay attention to what's been done before, that's all we have to do to make things happen. Everybody has an example to follow. Everybody can be an example to set for the next generation, and this is honestly what I'm trying to do here. This is honestly what I'm trying to do on my channel, so it kind of it goes with the flow of everything. Madam C.J. Walker is actually her stage name. That's another thing that got me is Sarah Breedlove being her real name. And then she changed it due to influence from her husband. Her husband just gave her this cool little name because once he heard her idea, it was almost impossible. It was almost impossible for her to not take this thing to the next level. And how cool is Madam? Like, if you're being called Madam, that's, that's the utmost respect. If somebody calls you Madam... You already know what's up. You already know what's going on. So I just wanted to share that to all my women, black, white, red, pink. It don't matter what color you are. Y'all got the juice. Y'all literally have the juice. Y'all are just as innovative as anybody else. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Y'all could do whatever y'all want to do as long as y'all willing to do it. All right. Continue to be innovators, continue to inspire us. A lot of my a lot of my influencers, like my favorite inspirations come from women, believe it or not. It's 50 50. I want to share a lot more of that too. Like there's a lot of male role models that I look up to, but there's also just as many female role models because keep it a buck, keep it a buck. Women are really, really empowering and in my opinion, I think y'all stronger than men. Let's be honest. I could never, I, I could never birth anything. I could never give birth to anything. Shout out to the male seahorses because y'all can give birth. But still, the pain and strength it takes to do that, that says it alone. That says it alone. Just to name a few of my female role models really, really quick. Like I said, I can ramble these names off for days because I have so many female role models that I look up to. Um, Angel Rich being one of them. Stacey Tisdale being another one, Issa Rae being another one, Lena Waithe, Tamika Mallory, Ava DuVernay, Rashana Scott, all right? <laughs> Rashana Scott, she's a realtor here in Chicago, and she's doing huge things. That's what I want to get into in the future, 
So I look up to her. I look up to her a lot. And the fact that she's my neighbor, she's right here in the city that I live in, she inspires me through and through. So like this video if you like it. If you learned anything new here, let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I go by the name of Q. And like I always say, if Q can make it happen, you can make it happen. I'll holler at y'all next video. Peace.